over 70% of our band this year is new. They've never been to Grand Nationals before. So they're either freshmen or sophomores. So this is their first time experience uh, for them. So this has been a, a, a quite an interesting and challenging process for them, you know, to go through and, and do something. Because for us, this is probably one of the most ambitious programs we've ever taken on. And they have stepped up uh, to, the, to, to every challenge and work extremely hard and we're incredibly proud of them. You know, there being so many new members in our band program this year, we focus a lot about what kind of legacy do you want to leave and what is our legacy going to be as a program. Not um, using past years as reference, but you know, what will this group do? You sound great right now. Let's take that onto the field. Tonight, enjoy it. Enjoy every challenge. Conquering every challenge. Finishing every phrase. Finishing every visual phrase. Doing that together. Everybody understand? Yes! Love you, let's go. We are 100% dedicated to doing this for the people around us. To us, this is not about winning. This is about portraying something special to the audience. And it's so, we're so fortunate to have a show this year that really allows us to be performers and to push the activity forward. Uh, we are a magnet program, but it's not particularly for the arts. It integrates the arts, uh, but it's primarily for leadership. So every student who comes in through our program, they take a year-long leadership course, which is a part of their curriculum, which they start in the ninth grade, and it really gets them to start focusing on not just today, but their future. And then we try to give them habits of success, processes that allow them to be successful, not only in, the, in, you know, in, their, in their arts world, but also in their own personal lives. I can honestly say every member of our organization is 100% committed to the right things, to portraying this is what the activity is, this is what we, how special we want to make it. We, all we talk about is furthering the activity, about how as, us as a band family will make this activity even more incredible than it already is. Let's go! Let's go! We're going to finish those phrases, right? We're not going to rush any of those rotations of the ballad. I know you can do it. Paige, how about some tuba sound tonight, will ya? Huh? Look at that. No, look at that. That's our tuba sound right there. Let's go. Come on. For us, the season was so hard and like just like to like work up to this point, it's like it's just like it's crazy. It's like really mind blowing. I'm very excited to be performing this for the last time. I'm a senior and I'm really excited, so I hope I have a great run. I'm anxious, but I'm ready. Like we're prepared and we're ready to go. So I'm I'm excited. Into the show. Step size. Be disciplined, be controlled, right? Yeah. Okay. Rotations on the 10. Part 4. 10 and 20. Right? I got, I got it. Yeah, I got yeah it. man. I know you do. Joining us from Tarpon Springs, Florida, please welcome the Tarpon Springs Outdoor Performance Ensemble. Uh, the show is based on the myth of Pandora's box. Uh, we just call it Pandora to give us a little bit of liberty to do you know, kind of some, some, some of the things that we'd like to do with it. We have a quote that says, uh, only through darkness can you find the light. And uh, we soon start to find out that the key master is, is not this evil person that comes out. He's actually searching, the one searching for hope and, and leading Pandora through that process. So you'll see him lead her and guide her through that journey. Uh, throughout, and then as you see at the end of the show, he ends up being her protector. I believe this is my ninth Grand Nationals that I've been in attendance for, so it's been a crazy experience going from a spectator to actually performing. It's I definitely know not to take it for granted because it is so inspiring and I've always been inspired by the performers and like the level of excellence that every member is committed to. It's incredible having her there. Uh, you know, we get to go to work together, go home together, talk, talk about our days. She just does an incredible job and her mother and I are just could not be more proud of her. So I just feel very blessed to have not only my dad work there but my mother and now my sister as well. It's just great to have that family because our program is all about family.
part of what we try to teach them is to, to be innovative, to be different, uh, to make their own mark on life. Um, and we try to use that philosophy and the process of how we put together a marching band program or our wind ensemble repertoire, whatever that may be, uh, to, 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 to trying new things, to, to going out there and daring to be a little bit different, um, not sitting in our comfort zones. I am forever a changed person because of this program. This program means the world to me and to my family and to all the members in the conservatory. I'm just extremely blessed to be a part of it. Are you guys both seniors? No, I'm a senior, she's a sophomore. And why are you guys tight like this? Um, because I dislocated my knee last Saturday, so it's been really rough the past week. I keep performing, keep going. How about you, with you, a senior on your back? <laughs> I'm always going to support her no matter what. She was there for me last year, so... Congratulations, guys. Thank you. The Turpin Springs High School Marching Band.